none of the producers have any financial interest in the products or procedures shown. We described to you an engrossing case, our surgical management of a patient who presented to us with a dislocated IOL and visual compromise. We begin with conjunctival peritomy and creation of partial thickness scleral flaps 180 degrees apart in preparation for a glued intraocular lens. A trocar anterior chamber maintainer is inserted and two side port entries are made. Initial attempts are made to free the IOL of its adhesions with microsurgical technique forceps. While manipulating, we see to our surprise that there is an endocapsular ring in situ. Unable to free the complex, we proceed with making 22 gauge sclerotomies under the scleral flaps. Anterior vitrectomy is done and once freed of its adhesions with the aid of the vitrector, the endocapsular ring is removed in toto. On attempting to externalize the haptic of the IOL, the grasp on the haptic is lost and it tumbles posteriorly into the vitreous. While a pars planar entry is made in preparation for retrieval, a sudden egress of fluid from the side port causes an upthrust from the posterior segment which aids in bringing the IOL capsular complex anteriorly. This time, the IOL is carefully maneuvered and both haptics are externalized with the aid of the handshake technique. The section is sutured and the haptics are tucked into the shariath tunnels. Fibrosed capsular remnants and after cataract are freed and removed with the vitrector. Upon confirming centration and stability of the IOL, the scleral flaps and the conjunctiva are secured with fibrin glue. The post-operative picture is of a clear cornea, a formed anterior chamber and a well-centered IOL, enabling the patient to enjoy greatly improved vision of 6 by 12.